It's a beautiful day today. No clouds in the sky. It's uh, June 15th, which uh, I believe makes it day 75 for me. I'm through the high Sierra and I'm into the uh, regular Sierra Mountains now, making my way up to Northern California. I believe sometime today I'll be uh, exiting Yosemite National Park. I use two, uh, two applications on my smartphone along with regular maps to help me with uh, guidance and staying on the trail and dealing with what's coming up and that kind of stuff. One of them is gut hooks, which is good for the map. And then the other one is half mile, which has a lot of great detailed information. And they're both generally correct, and so I use them. According to Half Mile, today I have to ford six streams. And I don't mean, you know, boulder hop or step on rocks or climb out over logs. I mean walk through the streams because there's not enough uh, debris or something in the way. So six streams is a lot. I'm used to hearing maybe one. Uh, and so like here's the first one. I gotta be careful I don't lose my footing and end up down there. So this has got a little bit of a rush to it. So the thing is, six streams, if it was just one, I would take my socks and shoes off, put on my camp shoes, hitch up my pants and go, but what's the point with six streams? I might as well just walk through and just hit them all. Uh, you know, otherwise, it's just too much of a hassle. The clothes that I wear is uh, quick drying compared to normal cotton clothes. So I'm just going to go wading out through this thing and then uh, I'll just see how all the rest of them go as well. Cold feet, here I come. And here's the second fording. No way you could use these rocks. Just going out. Get to the other side, get it over with. Here's number three. Just as my feet were getting warm. Been dealing with a lot of these blowdowns the last couple days. It's impossible for the trail maintainers to stay on top of these. They just Big old trees fall down all the time, but there's the trail. Straight down here, and then people just sort of scramble around it and the best way possible. I do too. But it slows you down as just another obstacle to deal with. I spent just over an hour this morning making my way up this mountain, and this is my reward. This beautiful high alpine lake. Nobody here but me. I just gotta find a spot for where to put my log cabin. Got the lake down there. And I'm going up the side of this meadow. Just left that lake a few minutes ago and uh, getting ready to go down into a new valley. It's beautiful. If I'm reading my map correctly, I'm about to begin a 1600 foot descent down into the bottom of that valley and then I'm going to have to go all the way back up that mountain and go out, I think, that gap. It's too bad there's not a bridge to get over there. This would be a really good day for a bridge. The side of that mountain looks like it'd be a great jungle gym for mountain goats. Bighorn. 
Here's the creek in the meadow down here at the bottom of this valley. Took about an hour or so to get down that steep descent. I go along parallel to this for a while. And then uh, I start heading up toward Benson Pass. Had a tiny bit of snow up there. Nothing significant. Soon I'll stop for a bite of lunch. I've made it a couple hundred feet up the mountain towards Benson Pass, but the fact is I've got to make it all the way up there eventually. I have a long way to go. Well, it's become a little more clear now that uh, as the trail heads up next to this creek, up this valley, that Benson Pass is, is on up ahead. I have a half mile to go to Benson Pass and about 400 feet in elevation. But this certainly doesn't look or feel like the passes I've had in the past. It's all this dirt. I'm used to bedrock and huge boulders, snow patches. There are snow up there. There's some rock. But here, so close. I'm still in plain old everyday dirt. A lot of trees still too. Nice little creek going right down the middle there. Good fresh water. Just passed a couple from the Netherlands. They're heading south doing a, a local loop. I guess that's the pass right there just ahead of me. Still uh, in dirt here. Glad it'll be over soon. One last look down towards uh, the Wilson Creek area, and that's the back. That's the way to Yosemite, Tuolumne Meadows, and all that. That's the way I came up here on top of Benson Pass. Oh, I'm liking the peak on that mountain. Now I got a long downhill with a small 200 foot ascent mixed in somewhere. I love these lakes. This is Smedberg Lake. A couple miles past Benson Pass. Way, 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 way up here in the mountains. I wonder how many people have actually been here. The only way to get here is walk. At the bottom down there, that's the closest thing I've seen resembling a PCT sign or emblem or anything for miles and miles and miles. Twenty-eight miles since I left Tuolumne? Wow. All right. What's this sign say? Enter at your own risk. Ah. <laughs> this is what we have to rely on. Here's an arrow. PCT. See? No signs. What's the point of those? Yosemite Valley, 35 miles. There's a sign in the center of two... Two trails. The trail splits, so they put a sign in the middle. No arrows, nothing. Great. It's great. That's a really useful sign. Thank God somebody scribbled PCT in the mud. 
Benson Lake 3 miles, Rock Island Pass 10.9, and Buckeye Pass 12.9, Wilmer Lake 17 something. But the bottom, an honest to goodness Pacific Crest Trail emblem. I wonder if that means I'm out of the park. Seems like the park didn't allow them. A few miles ago, I stopped for an early dinner, uh, not far from a lake, and the mosquitoes were the worst yet, swarming. And no amount of DEET was working, so this mosquito net, which I've carried since day one, finally came out of its little sack and I've been wearing it. It was a challenge wearing it and eating at the same time. But I adjusted and it was better than swallowing mosquitoes or having them stuck all over my face. So, I mean, I won't wear this unless I have to. I could probably take it off now. But I'm too lazy. I've got uh, about three quarters of a mile downhill looking like that until I get to a tent site and call tonight. Until then, it's, it's mosquito net out. Man, look at that. That monolith or escarpment or I don't know what you call it, big rock. Love it. Whole bunch of waterfalls all through there. It's so neat. There's so many waterfalls here that uh, are rarely seen.